What's up, y'all? I'm back. What? 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 She back. She back. She really, really back. Okay. So, y'all don't know me like that yet. So, I'm going to tell y'all about me. If I can do something and fix it myself, I'm going to try it. All right? So, I got a package and the mail. And which I was so happy. Look. Do you know what this is? Yeah, can y'all guess what it is? What it go to? Like, it's so many pieces. <laughs> it's so many pieces. So anyway, I have an iPad that I kept for I guess I want to say the past. Okay, mm, is the way. So I want to say maybe he was about one when he did it but i just never thought away because i was like you know what i'm gonna get the string fixed so here is <laughs> my replacement right and y'all want to see how bad the string look oh my god it's ridiculous what's my phone I don't want to break it. So, this is the string. And it got a nerve to have a string protector on it. So, let me take this string protector off. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, I had to do it this way because this part was coming off of it. Yeah, this ain't no good. So, hopefully, I can save it. If not, I just waste $24. I think it was like $24 or $14, something like that. I'll tell you at the right price when I'm done. And I wanted to say, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I, I'm not like I, I'm not down with like electronics. Let's try to say the words right, Cinda. Electronics. So I got it kind of charging. I'm about to cut it off. I'm about to unplug it because I haven't charged this thing in years at my old apartment. I've been here for a year and a half, right? Yeah, a year. A year and two months I've been here. <laughs> Excuse me. And my other apartment, I was there for a year. So can y'all wish me luck? Can y'all wish me luck? And y'all know Casey got his iPad too. But I'm not going to lie on my son. And I want to actually have y'all watch me. But this phone is uploading a video right now. So like it's like I need like five or six different strings because I'm trying to constantly put out videos. So I might wait until this one actually um load up and just continue to watch some videos. Oh my god, look y'all. Can you see can y'all see it standing up? Look. You see it right there. Casey did a fucking number on this thing. Hope and pray that it work, y'all. Because if it work. I'm going to give y'all this in, this um iPad information. And y'all can hit me up on, iP on my iPad. I'm trying to talk myself into getting an iPhone. But I don't really like iPhones. I'm like Team Android for life. Team Android. Team and, and I know. Like iPhones, you can do a little bit, you know, more, you know, extravagant things with it. But like iPhones is a little bit confusing to me. Confusing. Um, but I think I might talk myself into it because I want to leave my phone company and go to another phone company next month. And if somebody got a deal or iPhones, that's where I'm going to be at. Y'all like my hair though? Mm. All right. <sighs> How long is it going to take? It's on 60%. I'm going to look at that video. Specify with 
what? I tried a hair dryer, but then gave up and had to use a heat gun. Now be very, very careful because you don't want to heat things up too much, just enough to soften the glue. And I'm starting on the right hand side of the iPad because the connectors are over on the left. So after trying to pry the wrong direction many times, I found you have to pry down in between the edge of the frame and the glass and then lift. And the instructions say to just take it off in pieces, so I'm not worried about making more pieces. It was real. Oh, unplug it, dummy. And look, <laughs> it still work, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna need this piece. I need to get something. Hold on, wait. So I'm putting a blanket down because some of the glass pieces from the iPad is flying. And y'all know I got a three year old. Basically, I can't have ice, I mean, have glass everywhere on my floor. Alright. That's what they said to put something underneath of it so it won't go back together.
You want to start with the right edge, the instructions say, because then the idea is to open the entire thing like a book towards the left. Yeah. When it was time to open it up, I enlisted some help. I certainly recommend you have help because it's extremely nerve-wracking and an extra set of hands uh, can be invaluable. And this part, I might say, is absolutely terrifying. We've definitely passed the point of no return. Now the connections are over here in the lower left. There's a little ribbon cable that goes underneath the LCD screen. <laughs> Ow, it hot. So this hot part did not come off. <sighs> like a book, being very careful not to yank on these cables. And then with the included screwdriver, I unscrewed the four screws on the LCD. I just cut my finger. And then I gently lifted the LCD out of the tray. And its connector is also in the lower left. There's a little clip around this connector, kind of like a roller coaster safety bar. You lift that up and then you can use it as a handle to pull the connector out of its socket. And then the little ribbon cable on the glass digitizer simply pulls straight towards the top of the iPad. And you can see this screen is an absolute mess. Now, of course, a lot of these cracks uh, were made by us during removal. And then we remove this sticky white border thing so that we can put the new one in. And then we have to go back and make sure that all the glass is out of this thing. Now I'm using the little spatula that was included to bend the frame back out and remove this dent that initially cracked the glass. If your frame is bent, your new glass won't sit right. And then I'm reconnecting the LCD screen now. Although I probably should have connected the digitizer ribbon cable first because it goes underneath the glass. But the instructions weren't specific. So I recommend you connect the digitizer ribbon cable first. And it was kind of a pain to reattach, but I had to coax it very, very gently because I certainly didn't want it. <laughs> cables. 
And then with the included screwdriver, I unscrewed the four screws on the LCD. And then I gently lifted the LCD out of the tray. <sighs> and its connector is also in the lower half. There's a little clip around this connector, kind of like a roller coaster safety bar. You lift that up and then you can use it as a handle to pull the connector out of its socket. It's a four, but it's more than four. And then the little ribbon cable on the glass digitizer simply pulls straight towards mean. the top of the iPad. Absolutely terrifying. We've definitely passed the point of no return. Yeah, so okay, so possible. what I'm about to do is take the pad. I guess this, he, he called it a digitizer. So I'm going to take this out. And it's four. Is this the right one? There's four screwdrivers. I mean, screw, screws you got to take out. That's one. This is two. I'm going to put them ahead. The other one's right there. I'll get it. Don't break that one. Two. I hope I don't run out of um, <laughs> data, y'all. That's two. Can't count because that's three actually. So he said, then you would just lift this out. Oh, oh my goodness, y'all. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait, because I got to take this piece off. A lot of these cracks uh, were made by us during removal. And then we removed this. Hold on, but. Alright, I'm not getting this part. Uh, were made by us during removal. And then we removed this sticky. There's a little clip around this connector, kind of like a roller coaster safety bar. You lift that up and then you can use it as a handle to pull the connector out of its socket. And then the little ribbon cable on the glass digitizer simply pulls straight towards the top of the iPad. And you can see what? this screen is an absolute mess. Hold on, you're on. Now, of course, a lot of these cracks uh, were made I'm by having during removal. Okay, so <laughs> it's a part. Now is the test of putting it back together, y'all. <laughs> I can't believe I did this. <laughs> oh my God. Help me, all right? <laughs> hopefully I can get it back together, hopefully. And hopefully it still works, okay? Pray for me, y'all. All right, let me get this for sure. <sighs> no, let me look at this video. Like, I'm sweating. I'm really sweating. Boy, I'm calling my brother at 12 o'clock at night. I don't want to call you, boy. I don't want to call you. I don't want to call you. Oh, I don't. <laughs> when I get nervous, I laugh a lot. Mm. Yeah. All right, I need to look at another video because this one don't want to pop up no more. You don't want to pop up? I'm going to find somebody else to pop up, okay? Why is it not working? I need to cut this air on. I try not to have the air on when I'm recording, but Lord Jesus, I am sweating, y'all. I'm really sweating. I was so scared to pull that damn thing out. And like, I don't even know how to put it back in. <laughs> Hold up, wait. I was supposed to take this thing out too. Yeah, I was supposed to take this out too. All right. <sighs> I gotta pull it out. <laughs> oh no! How do we? All right, let me stop. All right, so I gotta pull this. I gotta pull this out. <sighs> so protect that one. Pull. 
Hold on a minute. Lift this up. Lift this one up. Hold out. Mm, that one was easy. I thought these ones not coming out. Mm, hold on. So this one isn't important. Because it's a replacement on this one. Alright. So I can pretty much look at a video. If this camera work, cut this off. Alright, y'all. Hold on. Wait. After I pull this out, I'll be back. I pulled it out. 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 Look. Then reconnect the LCD screen. Secure the connector latch and replace black tape. The digitizer splex cable is routed under the LCD cable, right, so it is best to keep the LCD. All right, well, the video don't tell me to wipe it, right? But it's a lot of sticky stuff on here. So we're gonna wipe all the sticky stuff off, right? Come on. This a this a little old cloth, y'all. Have like a little bit of glass on it. Yo, I cannot believe I just sat here and took a goddamn iPad apart. I took an iPad apart. Oh, my bad, y'all. My bad, my bad. Y'all already know. We already had an incident with these boobies out here. Out here. We don't want these boobies to be showing. No, no. So, all right, I'm going to... Hold up, wait. Let me try to get some of this glass out. And then I just got to make sure I vacuum really good. Because this glass, right, it goes everywhere. Y'all see my granny panties? All right. Woo, same way, same way, same way. <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous, right? I'm getting a little nervous, y'all. Getting a little nervous. Whew. So I'm going to have to move. Hold on. Because I actually need my camera to put the whole strain out. Uh, oh, excuse me. White border thing back around the digitizer screen. It's a little awkward, but I made it work. And then we simply How press it in place after we move the sticky back blue Pay attention that you don't get it upside down. And then we simply press it in place after we move the sticky back blue strip. And then we remove the film on the back side here. Being very careful now not to touch the back or the LCD because we don't want any okay, fingerprints on the inside. This connector is also in the lower left. There's a little clip around this connector, kind of like a roller coaster safety bar. You lift that up and then you can use it as a handle to pull the connector out of its socket. And then the little ribbon cable on the glass digitizer simply pulls straight towards the top of the iPad. But how do you and know? You can see this screen is an absolute mess. Now, of course, a lot of these cracks uh, were made by us during removal. Pitch the instructions say because then the idea is to open the entire thing like a book towards the left. When it was time to open it up, I enlisted some help. I certainly recommend you have help because it's extremely nerve wracking and an extra set of hands uh, can be invaluable. And this part, I might say, is absolutely terrifying. We've definitely passed the point of no return. Now the connections are over here in the lower left. There's a little ribbon cable that goes underneath the LCD screen. <gasps> so that's why I you know what? I messed up because I got to put this back. Be careful not to yank on these cables. 
and then with the included screwdriver, I unscrewed the four screws on the LCD. And then I gently lifted the LCD out of the drain. And its connector is also in the lower left. There's a little clip around this connector, kind of like a roller coaster safety bar. You lift that up and you can use it as a handle to pull the connector out of its socket. And then the little ribbon cable on the glass digitizer simply pulls straight towards the top of the iPad. And you can see this screen is an absolute mess. Now, of course, a lot of these cracks uh, were made by us during the movie. And then we removed this sticky white border thing so that we can put the new one in. And then we have to go back and make sure that all the glass is out of this thing. Now, I'm using the little spatula that was included to bend the frame back out and remove this dent that initially cracked the glass. If your frame is bent, your new glass won't set right. And then I'm reconnecting the LCD screen now. Although I probably should have connected the digitizer ribbon cable first because it goes underneath the glass. Well, thank you. So I recommend you connect the digitizer ribbon cable first. It was kind of a pain to reattach, but I had to coax it very, very gently because I certainly didn't want it to snap. Right. And you tuck the excess digitizer ribbon cable into the corner of the frame on the edge there. There's a little space under the board. Oh, that was a little so bit high. Like this new white border thing back around the digitizer screen. It's a little awkward, but I made it work. And then we so. simply pressed it in place after we moved the yeah, sticky back it. blue strip. Pay attention that you don't get it upside please. down. And then we simply pressed it back in place after we moved the here. sticky back blue strip. And then we removed the film on the back side here, being very careful now not to touch the back or the LCD because we don't want any fingerprints on the inside. This suction cup then helps to lower it into place, and then you press it very gently yet firmly all around the edges making sure to line it up nice and straight wow um that was one of the scarier things i've actually ever done of course the ipad was dead regardless so an 18 dollar risk was well worth it now as you saw i had to have help i would not recommend you trying this by yourself it's extremely nerve-wracking to know. try to juggle the digitizer screen and the lcd panel and not damage either one so definitely try to get help but as you can see here this was the original. It was an absolute mess. Just now, of course, we broke it a little bit more as we went to remove it, but um, it, it was about this bad when we started. As you see this other one over here, um, everything works just fine, which is really quite amazing. Audio, everything still works perfectly. It's just absolutely unbelievable. Wrong one. Anyway, uh, that took about an hour and a half. It was extremely nerve-wracking, but if you have no other option, it certainly beats spending a couple hundred bucks on a new iPad. So for 18 bucks uh, and an hour and a half worth of work, I'm extremely pleased. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I don't know. It ain't working. <gasps> it's kind of, kind of like y'all look. It kind of went. <laughs> it kind of went. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it. And then I'm going to charge my iPad and see what happens tomorrow.
uh, I think I forgot something. Cause this goes somewhere. I am not taking the pieces back apart. I am not. No, I'm not. Mm -mm. That's what time it is. Look. It is 2.13 a.m. in the motherfucking morning. Oh, let me, let me bring it up. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. 2.13. And look, y'all. My home button. Work. All that <laughs> Oh, my God. I just can't get over <laughs> My sound work as well. Let me show y'all that the sound work. Settings. So, all I got to do is put it back together. I can't believe I just fixed an odd head. <laughs> Check that girl out. <laughs> yes, two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Fix my iPad, y'all. Hold on. What is such a good one? I'm like. So how does work? Shorty fix her iPad. She did what? Fix her iPad. Oh my goodness. It's fingerprints. Hopefully this can get the thing up my phone. Hopefully. I'ma write this now. Hold on. Because my fingerprints is on it. So I technically didn't drop it. It was on the table. So. Gotta put. The little strews back.
This feel like um operation. Operation. Oh, that's the wrong one. So is one missing again. That's fine. <sighs> I had all four of them. Okay. I got like four out of mine. Hmm. Oh, it's inside here. Not that one. This one. Like, why are you gonna be the one in myself? So pretty much y'all, I am done, right? I just gotta put it back together. This one nut that's giving me a run for my money, right?
Library. Let me go in right here. This won't work. Mm. It seems like, seem like something's not lining up. Mm. No, they get this thing going close. What's it? They say to push it. See, something. I mean, it do work. It's just not lining up right for me. Let me see if I create that stuff. <sighs> Dang. I know it's, it looks like it's all right. As I said, mine did not come with any instructions. Really, to get this close, What I'm doing, I'm pushing the sides in.
Yeah. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know! To get this freaking clothes. <sighs> like, it don't have no glue, right? So, that's what I'm not understanding. That's what's getting me. I mean, the iPad does work. I just can't close it. So, maybe I need to get some double sided tape or something. And do it that way. So I'm a little bit like confused because I don't know what happened. I was doing so good. <laughs> so good. So the iPad does work. It's just that it is not sticking. Like yeah, it it ain't staying on there. So, what I think I am going to do, I think I'm going to order some um, double sided tape because I don't actually know where you get double sided tape from, and actually put it on here. If not, I might just order another string and see what I can do. But I'm going to upload this. Up, up, I'm going to upload now.